All right, good evening and welcome everyone to Ketones 101. My name is Brian James. I am an independent prover with the company Prove It. And I have got one of my best friends and business partners with me here tonight, Miss Abigail Klutz. Say hello to everyone, Abigail. What's up, guys? And we're gonna kind of tag team this thing. Uh, and really what we wanna do is just kind of give you a heads up. We wanna give you a deeper dive into ketones, ketosis, uh, what it is, what it's done for us specifically, the things that we've seen uh, along the way. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, just jump right into it. Here's what I'd like everyone to do. If you could do me a favor, I'm going to try to kind of manage this as we go, but if everyone could keep themselves muted, if you have a question, here's what I would encourage you to do. Get back with the person that invited you on this Zoom, and what they can do is link us directly, literally, with whoever invited you on here, with myself or with Abigail, and we'll be able to get your questions answered because we're gonna need all 25 to 30 minutes of our time just to give you the best explanation and point you to the resources you need in order to become um, knowledgeable about this conversation. So uh, if everyone could do that, that would be fantastic. And we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into it. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and start this thing off. Ketogenic dieting and low carb dieting is stupid and ketones don't work. <laughs> that was me three years ago. That was me. Um, and what I will tell you is that uh, this will literally, what you're going to learn over the next 29 minutes will be one of the most disruptive things that you've heard as it pertains to health and fitness, health and wellness, just how your body is supposed to operate, period. And for me, it took a lot to get it through my thick head because I was the ignorant and arrogant person that's going to challenge you when you learn what you learn here and when you take it out and start to get excited about it out, you know, doing whatever it is you're doing because traditional, the traditional application towards health and fitness, health and wellness is completely backwards. And for me, I had to learn that firsthand just through application. So very, very quickly, my introduction to ketones and ketosis was very simply this. It was, Brian, what do you know about ketones and ketosis? That's what a good friend of mine, Brian Underwood, sent to me in a text message. And my response to him was, well, um, what I know about it is I know that right before I go into one of my bodybuilding shows, I know that I get my body into a state of ketosis, therefore trying to drop my body fat as low as humanly possible. But in order to do that, I have to go through restriction. I have to metabolize my own fat in order to create ketones, which for me, because I didn't really know how to do it properly, left me in a state where I was energy deprived versus having a lot of excess energy. And um, for me, it was very, very different. However, when I started opening up to the conversation of exogenous ketones, having the ability to, to, to have pure therapeutic ketones enter my body without having to go through any nutritional restriction, that got me thinking. I still didn't believe in it. I still didn't think it was possible. However, the person that asked me the question also introduced me to a lot of research, uh, sent me a lot of articles, sent me some other things that I could start looking up myself. And in the process of that, what happened was it was enough for me to start really diving into it. And I started Googling ketones and ketosis. I started Googling it ketones or, or ketogenic dieting or ketosis for and then I'd allow Google to auto-populate all the related searches. I saw LeBron James. I saw fat loss. I saw um, energy. I saw uh, cognitive function. I saw neurological function. I saw Johns Hopkins University. I saw PCOS. I saw PTSD. I saw uh, cancer. I saw um, dementia. Uh, I saw inflammation. I literally saw article after article after clinical trial after research. It was crazy. And that was enough for me to start taking a look into potentially how my body could maybe operate in a state of ketosis versus metabolizing carbohydrates, which is the only way I had fueled myself other, um, other than that before. So with that being said, it took me down a, a pathway of reading a couple books. I read a book uh, by Dr. Eric Westman and Jimmy Moore called Keto Clarity. The first three chapters of that book absolutely rocked my mind. It really, truly did. It was enough for me to read a couple more articles. And then for myself, I was challenged. I was called out by a couple really good friends of mine that said, hey, uh, we're bodybuilders too. And, and we, Tony Freeman being one of them, hey, dude, I've been on and off ketogenic dieting for a long time now. And I said, dude, why don't you tell me that? He said, well, you never asked. So for me, it was just putting it to the test. And I, there, I then went into about 
roughly six months of a ketogenic diet. And here's two things that I can tell you. Number one, I've never felt better in my life. Number two, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done to still actually fit into society. Like, meaning I couldn't do anything normal. It was all like completely abnormal to what I was used to. I was used to eating six and seven meals a day. I was used to just everything opposite of what ketogenic anything, you know, or low carb anything was. So that's my journey. But it, I tell you what, it really woke me up because during that time that I was testing this out, my coach in the bodybuilding realm, the guy I looked up to, the guy I wanted to be like, the guy whose physique I wanted to have, the guy whose work ethic in the gym I wanted to have, the guy who was stimulating his body the way he was teaching me to do the same thing, at 42 years young, had a severe heart attack and stroke. Why? Because the overstimulation, I mean, the dude was phenomenal. But for me, it was a big wake-up call to, hey, Brian, while the outside may look good, what's going on the inside may not be as good. So, um, for me, it was a little bit different, and I'm going to kind of have Abigail give her background here in a second, but here's what you need to learn along the way. Number one, there, your body only has two fuel sources. You're either going to convert carbs and sugar into glucose for fuel, or you're going to convert fat into ketones for fuel. From a nutritional standpoint, they cannot both coexist in the body at the same time. One has to be depleted for the other one to be present, or vice versa. So when you understand your body only has two, the, the question you have to ask yourself is how, which one of those am I using to fuel myself? Once you've identified that, you will also start to identify with why am I, why am I at where I'm at? And am I happy with where I'm at? Do I feel good with where I'm at? And if you can answer yes to all those questions, great. Keep doing what you're doing, but we'll also help you understand how you can incorporate pure therapeutic ketones into your routine that will literally just help enhance your overall body's function, your, your, your neurologo, neurological and cognitive function, your body's function. Uh, if you're an athlete, if you're somebody that's, um, that's looking for just a, an edge, you, you can literally implement it in that aspect. There's so many different things you can do and things that you can do to apply ketones to your body. Now, during the process of understanding, our body has three main macronutrients that are, excuse me, we look at three main macronutrients when we're out there in the marketplace or when we're shopping at the grocery store, we pick up foods. That's what we've been trained to do. We've been trained to count calories, number one. And number two, we've been trained to look at fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. What you will learn along the process along the way is that all of this is native. To, everything we're going to talk about is actually native. It already exists in your body. These are already processes that exist in your body. They're fuel sources that exist in your body. The question is, how do you unlock those fuel sources? Well, out of those three main macronutrients, fats, proteins, and carbohydrates, we've been taught by the traditional food pyramid that we need to have the least of the fats, more of the proteins, and most of the carbohydrates. So what you will be challenged with is understanding that the only thing that's changed in the last century, really, really the last 75 years, is that we as a society have consumed most of one of those main macronutrients, and here's what's crazy. Out of the three, fats and proteins are the only two that are essential for life in our body as our species. The other, that obviously makes the other one, which is carbohydrates, non-essential. There's only one part of your brain that actually requires glucose, and it can actually make that glucose through converting protein through a process called gluconeogenesis. Here's what I want you to understand. Myself and Abigail, we're not going to get super technical on you tonight. We're not going to get super science on you tonight, but we will lead you in the direction. Right now, you can go on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash just prove it and check out Dr. Heather's live from yesterday. Great resource. There's also a lot of different doctors, researchers that have videos that are archived on our Facebook page. We would encourage you to go look there. If you want to dive into this thing, do the same thing I did. Google it. Um, Google ketogenic diet for Google ketosis for you will start to find the answers and the resources that you need um, to get what you, what you need to get. But understanding that the only thing that's changed and the reason why by 2030, uh, the World Health Organization states that over 1 billion people will be obese. And the reason why three out of every 10 Americans right now in the United States and Canada are obese is because of how we're fueling our body, because of how they're fueling their body. So when you understand that you can actually start fueling the opposite way, it changes a lot, it really turns a lot on, and uh, with that, I'm gonna actually go ahead and serve this over to Abigail to kind of give you her background, her story, and maybe some little insights to ketones, 
how they operate in the body and how you can be most effective. So over to you, Abigail. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, guys, my question to get here just started the same exact way as what Ryan got from Ryan. I know that's confusing, but Brian James just texted me up and he said, hey, what do you know about uh, ketosis? And my background was um, I had done figure competing for about uh, four years. And then I had coached women, bikini figure women in the industry. And then I had also, I, I started to segue myself out because I found myself struggling um, mentally with food. And, and I think there's people who struggle with binging, they struggle with sugar addictions, and then there's like this neuroticness um, also with food where you're obsessive. So everybody has their own struggles, I think, in their own ways. And I just knew for me, I had become almost addictive to calorie counting, macro counting, dieting, getting cut, getting lean. And my body was like a yo-yo. I'd go from a size nine to a size two and it was crazy. And I was always using carbohydrates to manipulate. So in Anyway, I exited out of that and I started working with lots of women and men online and I would do these 90 day lifestyle challenges. I was all about supplementation, nutrition, workout, sleep and attitude. And myself, I took myself out of figure industry. I started doing CrossFit. I traded one obsession for another and got injured. And that is what led me to find out about the ketogenic diet. I started Googling inflammation. Um, I was absolutely miserable. I had a back in injury. I had just chronic pain. I was living on painkillers. Um, it hurt to sit more than 10 minutes a day. I had to tilt my foot up to tie my shoe. It was miserable. And so I knew I knew how to diet. So I started doing the ketogenic diet. And that's when Brian came in and said, what do you know about ketosis? And so I call it a divine appointment because I had never looked into it before, but I was desperate to get out of pain. Some people on this call tonight are desperate to lose fat. Some people are on this call desperate to get the inflammation out of their body or the addiction to sugar out of their lives. And you're, we have two people, 200 people on this call tonight. Okay, 199, I must be boring. But we have that on this call tonight because you're here looking for something that will work because the health industry has given so many things to us that have not worked or you've yo-yoed or they've worked for a little bit, then you plateaued and it didn't work anymore. And so when I found out about ketones, I had been practicing the ketogenic diet and I was having a horrible time getting myself to produce ketones endogenously inside my body. I liked protein and like Brian said, your body will convert protein to glucose before it will go searching for fat and process it into ketones. So as much as I was practicing the ketogenic diet, I wasn't making ketones. And to be quite honest with you, I didn't want to live that lifestyle because I was trying to get out of absolute restriction. So it was kind of one thing for another. And so when I found out that you could actually put ketones in exogenously, versus having to be super restrictive and on point to make them yourself. Like that was a win for me because then I was able, and what I learned, I did like high fat, low carb better. I didn't have the blood sugar drops throughout the day. I wasn't struggling with um, hunger pains and cravings. Are we okay here? Awesome. <laughs> um, my screen went away. So, you know, it was, um, even though I wasn't in a necessarily ketogenic diet, I had experienced so many healing effects from just eating high fat, low carb. And I loved the flexibility of taking ketones exogenously and not having to be perfect. I like eating pizza once a week. I like my cake, as many of you know, every now and then. And so to be able to still experience that euphoric feeling that ketones bring you, it was just a win-win for me. And so um, the thing that really pulled me into this is when I started sampling it around. Because in, it's really like I was a psychologist. 
Um, when I worked with people, I could give them the perfect nutrition program and tell them to go to the gym. But have you ever tried to go to the gym when you were depressed or when your body hurt or when you felt tired? It's not easy to get to the gym. Have you tried to follow a diet when you're white knuckling against sugar cravings and, and wanting to eat it so bad and you can only go about six days and on the seventh day you freaking binge and then you feel shamed and then you just quit the diet? Like I was heartbroken of seeing that cycle over and over again. But when I started passing these ketones around to people, I saw something I had never seen in a decade of coaching. I saw people coming to me and say, I want to follow a nutrition plan. Like, I like the way I feel right now. Do you have a workout for me? I want to start going to the gym. And it's like that psychological part was there first. And that is huge in changing lives and having body transformations. So my whole life as a trainer in the fitness industry, it was about getting the nutrition on point first, then going to the gym for workouts, making sure you got sleep, and then spend your money on some supplementation if you need it. And I don't do that anymore. I want to get ketones to people first. I want to get their body feeling good first. I want to get that extra oxygen coming into their brains that make them feel happier. And I want their hormones stabilized, taking away their cravings so that when they do lay down that innate challenge that is coming soon, they will be way more successful in following it and crushing it and having that transformation. So people often ask, you know, how, when, what? So let's go over that real quick. What we have here, the very first product we ever came out with it was the orange, okay? It was keto. It's keto OS. It's it's um, orange dream. All right. I take the non. I still like to take the non caffeine at night before bed. I just I love this one right before bed, and I even put a little bit of raw cocoa in with hot water and this, and it's like a uh, Valencia mocha. So there you go. Um, but this one has extra NCT oils in it. So for people that are really doing a low carb diet, this seven grams of added MCT oil is great. And so a lot of people will end up taking this in the morning. Um, I'll go over when in just a minute. The next one that we developed was for gut health biome. Okay, Dr. Heather will go through all the ingredients of this. I don't even know still, and I've been doing this for two years, but there's, she will say there's pre and probiotics and chicory root and it's good for insulin, it's good for gut health biome. And um, this one is chocolate swirl. So like if, you know, like I got on an antibiotic last week because we pushed the body to the limits with the uh, conference and I was loading up on the 3.0 because I knew I needed to get some um, pre and probiotics into my gut. And people who struggle with allergies, um, inflammation, a lot of things manifest from unhealthy gut biome. So this is a good one for those people who think they're intolerant of every single thing in the world. Get them to take some of this healing effect. The third one that we came out with, guys, this is keto cream, okay? It actually does not have the beta hydroxybutyrate in it. It doesn't have the ketones in it but it does have MCT and coconut oils powderized. Those are two ingredients that when waking up from a fasted state, if you put them in your body, let's say you uh, weren't even taking exogenous ketones. If you get these oils in your body, they help you get into the production of making ketones faster. So um, the other thing is, and if you read like Tools of the Titans or you listen to Tim Ferriss or any of these guys, a lot of them are starting their days with these healthy fats. It's good for the brain, it brings more clarity, and it's stabilizing hormones. 
So um, this was the third one that we came out with. And the fourth one that we came out with, and honestly, when people ask me what should I order, this really is all I say anymore. I just, I just tell them to go straight to the max. Um, it's our new, most bioavailable formula, and it comes in fruit punch and chocolate. We just came out with the Swiss cacao, and they're absolutely way better tasting, I think, than anything else. Else. And we did, we had a third party blind test study done. This is two times more bioavailable than any product you're going to find out on the marketplace. Not only that, I know a lot of people have seen other supplements coming along. If you think that's even a possibility of a threat, go watch what Dr. Dominique Diagostino said last week at the uh, VIP. Um, conference after Keto Academy. He talks about how Prove It Keto OS is the only formula that they will use in their labs because we have put it through litmus tests. We have paid to have that done and it's the only one that they can do research with. So I found that really cool and really validating. Um, the Max also has leucine in it. Um, for people working out, leucine is very important and not only um just leucine but pure leucine there are a lot of supplements in the industry that have synthetic leucine that's made with human hair and duck feathers this is a pure form of leucine and we should be taking more of it around our workouts so um i obviously you know you know me you know i struggle with chocolate this is what i take at night as well um now that this is out i've kind of put the orange cream on the back burner and i'm doing this non-caffeine chocolate Typical day for me. I'm just going to tell you because that's really what you want to know. I wake up, I put the keto cream in my coffee. Like I told you before, had a food addiction. I used to feed. That means I would wash the clock and I would eat every two and a half to three hours. I would calculate my macros. I would count my, mal my calories and my food was never ending. I, I mean, my brain was never ending thinking about food. It took so much space and energy. So this is why I personally love to do intermittent fasting. You don't have to do it, but it's brought me liberation. It's also helped with um, my metabolic damage and insulin sensitivity. A lot of times I'll go downstairs and I'll do, I'll get on the bike and I'll do six rounds, 30 second little sprints, just a little bit of a hit workout while I'm fasted. And studies show that that's also awesome to do in a fasted state and really helps with your leptin hormone. So right here, keto cream, I put it in my coffee in the morning. And then when I start feeling a little bit hungry, maybe around 10 o'clock, that's when I will take um, the max formula. And then about 12 or one o'clock, I'll break my fast with uh, kind of a higher fat, moderate protein type meal. You think about people that are busy business people, how freeing is that, that they just drink something in the morning and then they can go out to lunch and have a cob salad or bacon and eggs or or something like that and just kind of limit the carbs um, then in the afternoon i take my second pack of max you may think that's expensive but i used to have about six things of chicken or turkey a day with rice and green beans like i mean the amount of money i have saved on food is incredible and now i'm eating nutritious fats like good for your hormones like good my, my hair my skin my nails everything has come back to life since bringing up the fats in my diet and the carbs back down and you know you think about fuel sources an energy um, like a car burns gasoline think about all the leakage that comes out think about how dirty that gas is you know that comes out the back the pollution think about my Tesla that I have it's running on electricity. And when you think about the fuel sources in your body, when our body processes carbohydrates and converts that into glucose energy, it goes, it, there's the energy Krebs cycle, it goes through that and there's a lot of free radicals and oxidation and kind of that, just like your car and gasoline, that residual left behind. It's one of the reasons why we just got back from Breckenridge and there's four types of cancer that can be healed with a ketogenic diet. They have to take the glucose and the carbs out because of the free radicals and oxidative stress it leaves behind. But with fats, 
in the energy chain, it's a clean energy source. It's a clean conversion rate. And so I think that's why by so many things in my own body have healed and kind of come back to life after my my pulsing of carbohydrates and all of that. You can get where you want aesthetically, but it doesn't feel good and it can leave you in a mess when you're done. So this is what I take in the afternoon. I'll often grab like a fat bomb or some almonds or something like that. And then for dinner, I do a moderate sized piece of meat, vegetables and oils and butters and things like that. So if I work out, guys, if I go and I utilize my muscles, I work out, mm. I'm timing this about 30 minutes before I go to the gym. I'm also using um, branched chain amino acids, and I'm doing about a 30 gram carb meal after my workout. That's just me. I don't want to go too much into dietary stuff, but like I said, I'm not strict keto. I don't need to produce the ketones in my body because I'm taking them exogenously. So I'm just finding a lifestyle that works best for me. So everybody's different. When should you take it? Whenever you want to feel good. I find a lot of women in the afternoon around three o'clock absolutely lose control of their minds and they want to eat everything in sight. If that's you, take it at 2.30, all right? Yeah, you, when you feel like you're tired and you need to crash for a nap, your brain will get tired. And when your brain gets tired, that's when your ghrelin hormone spikes and that's when you think you're hungry, even if you're not. So that's the witchy hour. When you find that during the day, Take the ketones before that hits. So when you want to feel good, when you want to come alive, shake that baby up, drink it down. That's all I got, B. James. Awesome. You are awesome, Abigail. And here's what I want to do. Number one, we don't make any medical claims whatsoever, but here's what I would like to do. If you have had a positive result in some way, shape, or form from exogenous ketones from the ketone operating system, will you please raise your hand? Awesome. We would love for you to provide some feedback here in the last four minutes in the chat, which just maybe a highlight of what you've done, what you've experienced. That would be awesome so that everyone else gets a chance to read that. Um, and then here's what's next. Guys, I have competitors that are still incorporating this into their diet. I see Paul Carter on here. He writes a lot of really great articles to talk about how you can incorporate this for athletic performance. You don't have to change your diet to get the benefits of exogenous ketones. So understand that. Or maybe you're somebody that does want to start to cater and, and change. And that's fine. Why? Because we have the support system in place. We have a new N8 challenge that's coming on board that you're definitely going to want to uh, get a chance to tap into. Why? Because you've got uh, the, 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 literally you've got some of the, the world's most popular trainers, television trainers, others that are going to come in, give you great coaching, give you great insights. And then lastly, understand this, what, what keto OS is and what it isn't. This is an exogenous ketones. There are two different types of ketosis, endogenous created inside of your body through fat metabolism and exogenous. These are exogenous ketones. The definition of ketosis is an elevated level of ketones in the blood. Very, very simply, okay? So this is not ketogenesis. This is not those endogenous ketones. So understand that this is not a weight loss product, okay? Uh, very important for you to understand. This is not, I repeat, a weight loss product. These are pure therapeutic ketones. So you have the ability now to put pure therapeutic ketones into your bloodstream, get the benefits of those ketones, no matter what your diet is, no matter what your current lifestyle is they will start to serve as a catalyst and a bridge to what it is you're looking to accomplish. And the last thing I'm gonna leave you with is this. If you see other people's results around you and you believe in their results, we want you to have the same result too. If you wanna prove this product wrong, I would encourage you to do it. Do it through a five or a 10 day experience. Ask somebody to have a five or a 10 day experience for 25 or 30 or, or, or 50 or $60 so that you can jump on for five to 10 days and experience this product for yourself. You will fulfill your body's baseline change in that period of time. You can test it through breath, blood, or urine, unlike all other supplementation out there. It is incredibly powerful when you have your own personal experience. And what I will tell you is this, is if you're willing to take the time to have your own personal experience to put this technology to the test, it will be like myself and so many others on here you will not be able to go back. Once you experience better, it's hard to go back. You've been forever changed. So jump back with the person that invited you, get a five or 10 day experience or surpass that whole thing, jump on the NA challenge, go for a 30 day plus experience 
And what will happen is this, when you have a real, true, authentic, transparent experience, you will not be able to suppress it. And that's okay, we don't want you to suppress it. If you're willing to share that experience with other people, we can set you up so you get your product for free even as a customer. If you decide that your passion for ketones and ketosis goes above and beyond just sharing to get your product for free, we have the ability to take that to the next level. And that's actually right now why we have to transition over to our next uh, New Prover 101, uh, which I'm excited about doing as well. So if you are here just for the Ketones 101, now's when you wanna exit, now's when you wanna get back with the person that had invited you. I'll end this recording, we'll start a new one. With that, thank you so much, Abigail. Thanks for everyone for joining. Thank you for sharing your, your feedback of what you've experienced with exogenous ketones and the ketone operating system. Uh, and with that, that's a wrap. So thanks everyone. Thanks, Brian.